Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod! So, welcome to day four of trying to take down Yaren, the big bird in the jungle. The, uh, <laughs> the absolute death wish that I've brought upon myself by uh, trying to beat it is real, because it's a very stressful fight. I was having a lot of stress with it in the last episode. I feel like mainly because the tornadoes seemed a little bit unfair. But not unfair in the sense of the mod, but unfair because, you know, it exists and I'm bad. So, <laughs> but anyway, we're back. Uh, so I saw that a lot of the comments were about one weapon in particular. And so I took the time to make all of the books to actually make it. I don't know what it does yet, but uh, I thought I would show off the books because I never got to show these off in my, uh, in my series. I just crafted them, so I never got to use them. Why is my sound? Oh, never mind. Sounds fine. Um, so this is one of them. So this is one we never got to show. So it's basically the, the Shadow Flame Hex doll. And then these two I thought were really cool. I thought that was a really unique weapon. Maybe not too practical, but really, really cool. And then this was one. So this one is obviously like Duke Fishron. This one's obviously like jungle, uh, not jungle, desert themed. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's not going to do mass damage though. But still, pretty awesome. Not bad. I mean, these are, uh, yeah, you meant to make these earlier in the game. So, combining them all together, we can make ourselves the Subsuming Vortex. This is what uh, everyone's been raving about, what everyone's been really hyped for. I'm excited to see what it does. I'm going to see if I can try and get a reforge on it. My money is not too great. Yeah, I can have one reforge, two reforge, intense. You know what? I'll take intense, considering I'm not going to get another reforge on it. So let's check it out. Oh, wow. Hey, that's actually really cool. I get it. So it's going through... It's almost like all the different colors that go into it, but what's actually happening is... Is it's almost like Duke Fishron flaring away. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why it was recommended now. Okay, awesome. Right, so we're going to do some fights today. Uh, I don't know how many I'm going to get done. I'm just going to do as many as I can handle without getting stressed. I've got some stuff prepared. Uh, so, we'll do a little jump cut and we'll get into the fight. Alright guys, so same method as before. We're using uh, Leviathan's technique of uh, circling in an O. And, uh, and he left a comment essentially saying like the world side is kind of screwing us over a little bit. Uh, I'm playing on a small world. I saw some people debating it. Uh, it's not medium, it is small. I, I play every world on small uh, because I can't be bothered to travel. <laughs> and I've gotten so lazy that, uh, that I'm so used to it now that I, I could never go back to having a, a medium world or a large world, if I'm honest. All right, so tap, tap, escape down, double down. Okay. All right, let's sit and wait. Um, we're all good. Okay. So, oh my god. Right, so I might be a little bit bad today. And the reason why I'm a little bit bad, uh, fun story, continuing on from my past few episodes. So essentially, I told you all the boring story of how I spent uh, a few hours cleaning my roof or whatever. Um, what I didn't say in it, because I didn't think it was that important, was when I was actually cleaning this roof, one of the things I did was I put a, uh, I was like using a hose, so like a, uh, like a garden hose. To, uh, with, an, with an end attachment to spray the roof clean, essentially. And I put it up on the roof to, uh, to use, and then I moved these ladders. And when I moved the ladders, I pulled the rope down, and it flung from the top of my house. So you can imagine what kind of distance that was, uh, and landed directly on my hand. And it really, really hurt at the time. But I kind of thought, not really much of it. I'm not really, like, that bothered about it. You know what I mean? About pain in general. Not really, not really phased. And then, um, and then, like, now, a few days later, like, it kills. Like, it is really, really painful. Like, it's actually, like, kind of mad. So, and it's the hand I use to uh, move my directional keys on my keyboard. So, if I'm a little bit worse, it's because of that. But it, it took days to, to kick in with the, the pain factor of it. Kind of mad, really, isn't it? All right. This fight's going all right, but every time I say that, I always die, so... I ain't got I ain't got much chances. I will admit having a uh, homing shots does help. Oh no, it's still not gonna save my health though, is it? Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should listen to you guys all along about the subsuming vortex. Cool. 
Sick. Really happy with that. Okay, what'd you get? I got some Drews. Oh, cool. I got I got a bag. I got some Drew wings. Uh, giant tortoise shell. Come here, let's go back to the house. Let's have a little look here. So, Drew's wings. Equitable. Absolutely fabulous. Uh, excellent acceleration. Excellent flight time. Expert. Um... So I don't know whether they these are there just to look cool. I mean, maybe you need them for uh, for Supreme Calamitous. I'm not too sure, but all right. Okay, so we got some Yaren Soul Fragments, a Profound Trident. So kind of cool. We got Yaren's Gift. Uh, the power of God pulses from within this artifact. Flaming meteorites rain down while invincibility is active. Exploding dragon dust is left behind as you move. Defense increased by 30 and damage increased by 15 while outside of the jungle. So while you're outside of the jungle, you get a little bonus. So that's pretty cool. I mean, defense increased by 30 and damage increased by 15. What's this? So this gives you plus 30 max life and mana. So that's probably more useful to me. Hmm. All right. Cool. I'm cool with that. That's a cool little one. Uh, a Phoenix Flame Barrage. Pretty cool. And then Dragon's Rage, which is this one. I feel like they've changed the sprite for this a little bit. I'm pretty sure they did. They've changed the fire effect. I know that. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. <laughs> Can't really go wrong with this. This is pretty cool, actually. Look at that. So, what's it doing? Uh, 19,000 damage? A lot more. It's good being a mage. <laughs> with mage accessories. Alright, well that was really cool. I mean, I'm going to put my accessories away uh, in here. Oh man, I've got so many accessories. Alright, one there and one there. So, I'm sure that one of you will mention either the wings or Yaren's gift. Um, because I've put it in a chest, so you, at least you guys know I haven't binned it. But I'm sure one of you will probably bring up a case for actually using it. So, I would like to hear that case. I'll be welcoming that case <laughs> when it arrives. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... For old time's sake, I'm going to do one more Yaren uh, to try and uh, farm it out a little bit. Because obviously the, the, there's going to be more things to this fight that we haven't done yet. Oh, snap actually. You know what? With that extra money, I'm going to get a reforge. See what I can get. So, Agile, Masterful. Yeah, I'll take Masterful. Go on, give me that Masterful. And then I'm going to put my, uh, my money away. So we're going to do... We're going to do one more, and then it's on to Supreme Calamitous. Now, so here's the history of Supreme Calamitous. In Season 1, we did it at a point where it was, like, near impossible. Like, it was it was brutal. It took days, and then they did a balance to it that meant that we could do it a lot easier. So that was good. And then they tweaked it again so that I've not beaten it since then. And then now we're playing in Revengeance mode. So I'm not really sure... We're about to, we're gonna sit with the uh, supreme calamitous, especially as a mage, because I imagine most people use uh, homing swords for it. So hopefully we'll be fine. Double down. I really hope we will. Okay. So three, two, one. Okay. Let's see if our uh, our buffed uh, vortex is gonna do more. Tell you what, it's a really good idea for the slimy saddle. The slimy saddle was actually really, really clever. Whoever, uh, I saw it, obviously Leviathan left that. But whoever actually originally thought of that, props to you, buddy. Maybe it was Leviathan. But, you know, just in case. Credit where credit's due. That was a, a really cool idea. It really does help with the fight being able to uh, avoid it at that stage. Because it, it makes you essentially... Oh my god. It makes you essentially miss the tornadoes. Let's see. I want to see if I can... I want to see if I can do it again, essentially, because it took me so long to do it the first time. I'm interested now whether it was the weapon or it was me getting better. Oh my god, I did it a second time as well. Oh my god. Both times were clutches as well. That's actually quite interesting. Um, okay. So let's go back home. Let's drop off uh, whatever money we've got again. Uh, quick stack. Even though that's not that much. And let's see. Okay, open it up. So we get another Yaren's Gift. We got Dragon Breath and Dragon Rage again. 
So Dragon Breath's a ranged weapon. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to put it away. So that's pretty chill. I'll probably... Uh, do you know what I'll do? I'll probably... Where's our other Yaram's gift? This one's just a regular, so I'm going to swap these out. And then I'm probably going to sell these. Yeah, I'm going to sell these. May as well. May as well make a bit of cash. Let's see. Are they priced right? Yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. Okay. All right. Awesome. So I'm probably not going to do this third and final one. So I'll put this one into, uh, into crafting. We'll use that later on. Awesome. So now we have to look at what Yaram, uh, Yaram's soul s uh, fragments does for us. And we'll see. So you can make the wand. Absolute classic. What a banger. Uh, the Great Sword of Bla. Is it Bla or is it Baya? <laughs> I don't know. So that's pretty cool. And then you got the Ark of the Cosmos. Oh, I miss the Ark of the Elements. Real bad. I love the Ark of the Elements. It's such a great sword. Very dear to me, that sword. Uh, and then you get silver armor. So, really cool. Wow. Okay, well, maybe that's necessary. Maybe that beats out Godslayer, essentially. And then you get shadow spec bars. Now, that does require a lot. Like, I don't even know where these are from. These are Calamitous Essence, Dark Sun Essence. Hmm, well, we're going to need to find out where they are, because otherwise we can't make the uh, the Eye of Extinction. Dark Sun Fragments. I just, for the life of me, I just don't remember where they are. I'm just checking my things now. So, I've got enough for one of these. I just need to find out where you get these. So, I'm going to quickly Google it, and I'll be right back. Okay, they're from the Solar Eclipse, so I need to make a Solar Eclipse happen. Um, <laughs> I don't think I have any fragments. I think it has been them. Uh, frag. Oh, there you go. So there's some fragments in here. Okay, well, right, we've got a lot. Decent. Right, so... Can I do it now? Awesome. Okay, so I need some Mothrons, essentially. Oh my god, look at that. That's actually really cool, Jim, when it takes a, a while to kill an enemy. I feel like this event's been buffed quite a bit, wouldn't you say? I mean... It seems that way, at least, because look at how long it's taken to kill an enemy. Maybe it's because it uh, it spirals around them. Maybe that's why. I definitely want a shot at Calamitous today if I can get one. Just because I want to see what it's like. I remember uh, before it would it would spawn two extra, uh, two extra little minion bosses that weren't worth killing. You had to just kind of leave them until you did the full fight anyway. Uh, and I remember that you have to stay kind of close to it because that running it doesn't really matter. Uh, and I think that was it. You kind of got to stay like in line with it. And it does little uh, shooting things where you have to, uh, to bob up and down with it. I remember that. I don't know. It's been different. It's been a while. It's definitely been a while. Alright, come on, Mothron. This thing takes way too long to kill a thing. Okay, so that gave me five, and it gave me an Eye of Cthulhu. So that's kind of cool, because that's my favorite yo-yo. So I can appreciate that. Alright, then I may as well... How many was it to make the thing? Alright, so you just needed one. Right, so I'm going to... I'm going to skip this event, just because I can't be bothered with it. Okay, awesome. Alright, so we may as well have one go. I mean, we're just going to kill off some NPCs. It's going to be a, an interesting call. Judging from the way this uh, this damage this weapon does damage, really doesn't seem like uh, something that's going to really do that much for us in this next fight. So I'll be interested to see what happens. Right. So I have extinction. How does that go down? I have extinction. So I've got my nightmare fuel, my endothermic fuel. I've got that. I've got that. Oh, so you also need an eye of desolation. Ah, right. Okay. Well, hopefully I didn't kill the uh, one NPC that sells them, and I can't remember which one it is. Maybe it's the wizard? Uh, yeah. Okay, awesome. So that makes that a little bit easier. So the crafting recipe is not too bad. And then we get the Eye of Extinction. So I want to give this one a go. So get rid of all this. Buff up. Turn on my mini-map. And I really feel like this... 
Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to use a mix of both of these. I'm going to see what happens. Because the Vivid Clary is actually really good. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's, it's this way. Um, oh, okay. Oh, I remember this. Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember what's happening here. Okay, so it has a ram attack, and then it also has this thing where you have to dodge up and down these little, uh... You see them? Like, they look like little missiles. Okay, well, that's doing a lot of damage. Um, alright, I'm not doing a very good job of dodging those, am I? Uh, alright. Okay, so it should spawn the goon squad in. Okay, I need to be going that way. There's a, there's a method to it. I'll be honest, I don't remember the method. Alright, okay, so this time you actually have to defeat the goon squad. You can't- oh my god. You can't defeat them normally. Okay, so you have to do the goon squad. Unless it just doesn't show it anymore, because it seemed like it was going down in health then. I don't know. That one was interesting. That was actually... Yeah, I'd say that one was pretty interesting, that fight. I'm interested to see where that goes. I feel like I could I could master that. To be honest, I wasn't really kind of sure what was going on. I was just kind of going with it. But, you know, I feel like I could get that one. That one doesn't seem too bad. Tell you what, that health decreases real fast. Did you guys notice that? Hmm. That was seemed alright, actually. That didn't seem too bad. I mean, we'll see in a few days when I'm kind of pulling my own hair out. But we'll see. So, I need more nightmare fuel for tomorrow. That's something that I definitely need to remember. And then I've got my, my fragments. Alright. Well, I'm going to end today's episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, finally seeing me take down the boss. Uh, all things going well and all that good stuff. Uh, tomorrow might be the finale. And just like season one, there'll be a finale. The finale will be the boss fight. So I always like to have an end series episode. And that'll be the boss fight. So if we win the boss fight, that's it. That's all the boss is done. Um, but then as always, I'll have uh, bonus episodes that will go on for... Uh, it could go on for weeks, essentially. So, like like I did in Season 1, it had a finale episode. And then we every time there was a new update or something I wanted to talk about or some new weapons I wanted to make, uh, anything that just seemed really cool and was endgame, we uh, just made new episodes on about it. So, it don't really matter. So, it will just have finale in the title, just so you guys know that is the finale. And then, you know, if anything else happens, then we can do it. Right. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Peace.